Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your monthly reading. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this, Aquarius. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, let's see what the energy is this month. What is the energy this month? All right, the Two of Swords. So it kind of blinded to what is about to happen. All right, um, you also, with the Two of Swords here, is, there might have been a power struggle in some relationship. The Two of Swords talks about uh, the breakdown of a close relationship. Now this could be platonic, familiar, this could be romantic business, anything. It's a breakdown um, of a close relationship, but there's still the opportunity for reconciliation. If, you know, um, you guys get over the power struggle, you won't follow, they won't follow you, you won't follow them. There's no compromise, there's no sacrifice being made. There's a decision here that needs to be made. And I think the both of you, both parties know this, okay? Um, get away your pros and cons of the connection of the situation of what you can give up to a sword says uh, make sure um, you know you're just not cutting off loved ones you have you know gone through uh, the mental process of doing that also it talks about coming back together with someone you're gonna need cooperation you're going to need a plan. Like, what are you guys planning to do? The two is about planning. It's talk, it talks about union. Um, it talks about partnership. Okay? So, uh, that's the energy of this month. Let's see what you need to release this month. Okay. Star card came out for you. What you need to release. Alright, so you need to release... Um, Maybe, so the star card is, it, it governs the 11th house, which is Aquarius. You might need to release some friends, uh, some way of thinking. You might need to release this whole healing process and, um, yeah, this whole healing process, this reconciliation type situation maybe thinking that it needs to go one way, you're trying to control it, especially those of you who want to get back with someone. You're trying to control it here. Release the healing process. You don't control it. Go get help also. The um, the star card talks about speaking with others about what's going on with you. This flipped out of the deck, the queen of swords. Yeah, you need to release being the executive over this whole healing process. You need help. You need to sit with someone who could help you. Um, it helps you help you move forward again the Queen of Swords talks about cutting out things per people places events emotions cutting out things out of your life but the Queen of Swords also says get counsel before you make that decision before you cut away okay we understand you want a new life you want newness but you need to you need to counsel with someone before you just tear it all down Okay, so Aquarius, something to reevaluate this month. What do you need to reevaluate? It just looks like some of you want to be in control of your healing process in terms of what it looks like, what you need to do. You've got the plan all made up. You know who you need to cut off and for your own reasoning. You haven't talked to anybody about it. You haven't you don't have a sounding board. You are the sounding board. Therefore, you know, you make all of the decisions, all of the decisions. You are the executive. You, you, I mean, you're just not bringing in another, another perspective, another way of seeing it. Okay. So you might be missing something, especially coming up with the two of swords. You're not seeing something. Um, all right. So something to reevaluate. Something to reevaluate this month. What does Aquarius need to reevaluate? The Five of Pentacles. You need to reevaluate um, your lack mentality, 
um, your confidence or self-confidence need to reevaluate um, maybe you you being up and down with your money or in your money sector do know that the five of pentacles is a temporary state of being it is not long it should not be long lasting you should have not you should not allow the so the five of pentacles talks about the god of penia the god of uh poverty setting in she knocks on everyone's door in the village whoever lets her in you're gonna have a hard time getting her out okay so with that um that analogy you need to know that uh or that story more so you need to know that if you do get to a place where there is depletion or you're at a place of destitution um or just lack know it's temporary know that it is temporary energy you can increase your money you can increase your opportunity uh, do more get more okay but do nothing have nothing so um that's a message for someone okay it's something to reevaluate here at the five of pentacles okay um also um it says that uh, with the five of pentacles uh people who are strong and their self-worth can never be used or abused if you know what you bring to each and every table if you know your worth you know that people will want a piece of that they want something from you because you are worthy you are valuable so if you're strong in your self-worth then it's not that they're using you it's you know they're going to expect something from me because i am i am worth i am worthy i am valuable so be strong in knowing who you are and what you bring to the table um in so many different facets so that you never feel used you just feel like you are playing your part now of course there are parameters there are boundaries set them and and the beauty of it is you get to set those boundaries those parameters but do know people who have a lot you know, uh, the I think the Bible says, you know, those with much, you know, require much or requ much is required of you. So something of that nature. So um, the five of pentacles, that's something for you to reevaluate. All right. So this month, let's look at something that you have neglected. What has the Aquarius neglected? What has the Aquarius neglected? What has the Aquarius neglected? What has the Aquarius? Okay. The Five of Cups, you've neglected um, the healing process, the grieving process, not the healing process, but the grieving process. You've also neglected the fact that some relationship is recoverable with the Five of Cups. Um, it seems like you need temperance here. You need the angel of temperance. You need to balance the things out. You have not been balanced. You've been tipping the scale all the way to the left, to the right, what, whichever way you're going, but you're not finding balance in your decisions. Um, you know, found it balancing your emotions. Um, you may be suppressing your emotions. Um, what you have neglected is the fact that maybe somebody did do something to you or put you in a situation where you were at, in competition or you were not the only one or you did not feel worthy. But um, you don't neglect those emotions. Feel them. Go through the grieving process. Move on. Whatever moving on is. That is moving on to talk to the person and go back to then do that if it's moving on to go forward do that the beauty of it is you get to choose okay the only major arcana we have on the board right now is you aquarius the star card um okay so also you might need to go back with the star card being number two something you need to release you might need to release friendship groups aquarius you govern governing friend friends and friendship groups I think there will be a revolving door, especially in the age of Aquarius, a revolving door in terms of your friends and your friend group, okay? Um, a lot of people won't stick around for your lifetime, but they'll be in your life for a season as you'll be in their life for that season. So, you know, it is uh, mutually beneficial, hopefully. Um, you take something from them, they take something from you, and you move on. Um, release the fact that maybe you don't have all of this you don't have uh, 10 dozen friends or you don't have 10 dozen friends that have been in your life since you were two years old or three years old. Um, you have a revolving door. You have something to offer to the world, to people, okay, and to groups, large uh, groups of people with the 11th house. 
with the in the eleventh house is what the eleventh house talks about. Sorry. Um. Okay, so what you've neglected is your emotions. You need to examine those. You need to, if the, if there is a relationship that is recoverable, then um, go after it or allow someone to come after you. Um, in apology, if this is what they need to do, or vice versa, or if that is mutual, um, you've neglected the fact. I think so much time has elapsed between the two of you, you and someone else, that um, you just don't know how to come back together, okay? And you don't know how to make it work. You don't know how to stay. It's easier to walk away than to stay. All right, so um, something to look forward to, Aquarius. What does Aquarius have to look forward to? What does a okay Aquarius has to look forward to the nice three of pentacles so some high quality work being done your superiors people um, in your uh, career sector looking at the work that you're producing all eyes on you um, you're getting um, accolades and um, congratulations maybe even award or reward for the work that you're producing um, you have to look forward to uh doing what you love um you're doing high quality work because the the divine um is sitting with you um because you are actually putting your talents uh what you're good at to um uh, to its best use you're doing what you're supposed to be doing okay um you have that divine spark of uh, masculine feminine and then divinity so therefore you are uh you're definitely bringing in the bucks and bringing in the money. People are wanting to patronize you, your business, if you have one. Um, if, you're, if you work a job, people are wanting to work with you. They're working well with you. Um, if this is a love and relationship, then it says, uh, it, it says that um, someone wants to figure out how to share their life with you. Or you guys need to figure out how to share your lives with one another. Um, it says that someone wants to do something with you, something big, something tangible, or something tangible for you. Um, an idea or embark on a new endeavor together is what that card says. So um, that's something that you have to look forward to. Very good. Um, the three, three of Pentacles talks about, yeah, working together. Um, it also talks about creative opportunity. Um, it talks about communication. Uh, communicating how you're thinking, uh, early childhood uh, education, okay, or early education, something you knew about, you know, you knew about yourself early on, okay, um, something you did well from, from a, you know, a very young age, okay, and you're going to do well in it now, you're going to be using that talent now. All right, and last but not least, something that will help you. What will help the Aquarius this month? What will help the Aquarius this month? The Five of Swords. Okay, interesting type of help. All right, so the Five of Swords, Aquarius. What will help you is you sharpening your words, okay? Some people need to um, get a piece of your mind, especially those who you have not given it to. We got five, five, five. We get some big changes on the horizon for you this month, Aquarius. Um, the Five of Swords says that, yeah, you need to sharpen your words. You need to stand up for yourself. Question others' motives. Why are they? Why would they? What are you doing? You need to question motives. Um, you need to question, um, yeah, okay. Um, with the Five of Swords here, in terms of what will help you, is definitely standing up for yourself uh, not backing down, being up for the fight. Um, also, the Five of Swords talks about walking away from situations that just don't serve you. Um, sorry, they're cleaning uh, the carpet downstairs. Um, the Five of Swords talks about walking away from situations that just don't serve you. Um, knowing when something is a losing battle, it's an uphill battle um, that is challenging, that you will have, you know, that you, that it is that it will defeat you <laughs> and that it will um you will suffer defeat there's no win-win situation here it's just going to be a loser and a winner so, something that is not good for you that you may just have to walk away um with the five of swords so what will help you is being able to process that knowing what that situation is knowing um 
that you have to uh, stand up for yourself. You have to um, be the one that um, draws the sword first, okay? So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope that it resonates for you this month. It looks like work is highlighted. Um, you're trying to work on something. You're trying to get yourself out of a place of lack, lack mentality, lack altogether. And it looks like you will with the five and then the three of pentacles. So it's eight. So it just looks like um, maybe you're in some cycle of something that's wash, rinse, repeat. You do it long enough, it will get to a place of uh, sustainability and you can be more hands off. Just keep at it. Aquarius, you do not govern your healing process or another healing process. Um, you can't be the executive, the uh, the one with the final say on everything. Sit with someone, a professional, um, anyone who can actually give you uh, sound advice, okay? Also, get others' uh, uh, advice or opinion. Knowing that they're just opinions and you don't need to take them on as newfound philosophy, um, but they are valid, okay? Um, it'll be something to ponder. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Go, and definitely look into your emotions here. You got some big changes on the horizon that will bring you a lot of um, enjoyment, fulfillment. One major on the board, Aquarius, this month is really about you getting out of your head, getting into your heart, um, actually doing something. Getting yourself out of a funk, okay? Spirit is just waiting for you. You get you together. Spirit's already together, and they're waiting for you, all right? Take care, Aquarius. If you feel like this reading resonated for you, go over to the website, book there. Take advantage of the uh, the new moon manifestation, the Lion's Gate happening on 8-8. We're going to manifest together corporately new energy into our life. So take advantage of that. If you want new love, new money, um, new friends, anything new. Also, we'll do kind of a, a small, simple banishing uh, ritual, too. If you want something gone or someone gone, we can take care of that, too, together. Together, we are stronger. All links are below. Go over to the website book there. Get a reading just like this one for uh, the month of August. Um, you can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Ask a question or two by texting to the number below. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.